so the, the process starts with the data. It starts with the interview. And then it's just a matter of helping them better understand what they really should be doing. And there's a, um, a lot of them understand what they could be doing because they read it all the time. They read different practice management books. They watch different podcasts. And there's no shortage of strategies that they could pursue. The real question is for, for this team, what should you be doing? All right, let's, let's sift through the coulds and let's get it down to the shoulds. And the shoulds, right, what drives the should is generally three things. Number one, what's your vision of, of what you want to build? That should be uh, additive and, and informative to the should. The should should be, uh, you know, what, is the, what does the data say about how the business should look? Like, what, are the, what do the fundamentals say about how the health of the business and what it looks like? And then the other should is, let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's look at what others have proven, done and proven our best practices. And let's bring those three together. Your vision, what's the data say? What are the best practices? And let's break it down into a, a finite number of objectives and, and create lists you know, a, a work order or a project management plan that doesn't have 71 items on it, right? It doesn't even have 17 items to get started. It's like, let's go do these one or two things. And the reason that's so critical is because many of them, and you know this, many of them are stuck in this trial, try, fail loop or, or maybe try and even have a little bit of success and but then it gets uncomfortable it gets messy we don't know how to figure all this stuff out so we just we revert back right and we try a little bit of something then we revert back and they develop the wrong belief system right because in that in that instance the belief system isn't reinforced the belief system is actually uh, inhibited because the number one way to improve your belief system called Mastery Experience. This isn't my work. This is a guy named Albert Bandera. He's the world's leading researcher in the area of self-efficacy. The number one way to improve your belief system is to say that you're going to do something and then do it.